If you're using video to build your business, then it's important that you have enough of a mix of videos that are attracting new leads to your brand. So today we're talking about four styles of visibility videos that you can try. Let's jump right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I help coaches and consultants add video to their business. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now I've talked about visibility videos a lot because sometimes I worry when I see my clients focusing only on visibility videos. This means that they are so focused on the idea of getting more eyeballs on their brand that they forget that they actually also have to create conversion style videos. What if people start looking at your video content, but nobody's actually buying anything from you? Remember that we're a business here, my friend. We are trying to put out videos to attract a crowd so that we can tell them about the work we do, and then hopefully they would be interested and continue to work with us later. So this means we need both visibility style videos as well as conversion style videos. However, Visibility videos are often a little bit easier to create, sometimes just because of the nature of those style of videos. So that's why today we're going to focus on four different styles of visibility videos that you can create. Next week, we will come back and talk about conversion style videos. Those are the videos that you also need to put out so that once you get visibility, you can convert that audience. So let's jump right into it. Now the first and most obvious form of visibility video is short form videos. So we're talking about Instagram and Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok. The reason that those videos actually help you get more visibility is because they are easy to consume by people and they're very low commitment. It's not like a 15 minute YouTube video where that person has to sit there. Within about 10 seconds, they just get a general sense of who you are, what you do, what your brand is about, and then they can keep scrolling. Now, I know that a lot of my clients actually don't like making these type of videos because they feel that pressure to be very entertaining and to put out this type of content that they might not be used to creating. However, there's so many different ways that you can create reels and shorts and TikTok. So don't dismiss it that soon and think that there's only one way to get that done. In fact, those short form video content pieces are really, really important way to continue to get your content pushed out to cold audiences. Every single platform is prioritizing those type of short form video contents. So that means when you create them, those platforms are going to do you a favor by pushing it out to more people. Why wouldn't you want your brand to get out in front of more and more people, especially people who have never heard of you before? This is a great way for them to finally know that your brand exists and then to make a decision as to whether they want to continue following. Now, another form of visibility video that you can consider are video pins for Pinterest. Pinterest really pushes out video pins to new audiences. So they are going to do you that favor if you actually use that type of pin. And these are really easy to create in Canva. You can use the page animations or other animated elements. You can use a GIF or a boomerang, or is it called GIF? Anyway, you know what I mean. Or you can use video stock footage from Canva, and then you can just create that really easily. Once you upload that to Pinterest, then in fact, when someone is scrolling on Pinterest and seeing all of these other static pins, your moving video pin is really going to catch their attention from the corner of their eye. This is how you get exposed to more and new audiences. Now, the third type of visibility video that you can create is a short video for your website. I'm talking about something that's 60 to 90 seconds long. When someone comes to your website, even though they might see photos of you and things that you have written there, nothing makes a difference like actually seeing a video of you and hearing your voice. You can create that video just horizontally, just like this YouTube video, and then upload that to YouTube or Vimeo as an unlisted video, and then simply embed that to that page on your website. This is a really great way for someone who is a stranger to you that comes across your site just to get a quick snapshot of what you're all about. It helps to build that connection and further enhance that trust between you and them. And that's another great way to get visibility. Now I'm interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe. I think you should do that first. And if you're interested in getting started with video right away and shooting videos at home, be sure to look for the free resource in the description below. Just click on the link and I will send that off to you right away. So now let's get back to our video. 
And the fourth way that you can get more visibility by using video is to engage in paid video ads. So that can be a video ad on Instagram or something that's on Facebook. So depending on whether you want that to show up in stories or if you want it to show up in reels or just within the actual feed, that's how you would determine if you want to do this horizontally or vertically. But consider the fact that it has to be highly engaging. People on social media are fed up of seeing ads, but yet if you create a good ad, that's going to be helpful for them because you're going to provide them with something that they could use and they will actually stop their scroll to have a look at it if it's a well-made ad. So think about how you can actually speak to the camera like a face to camera type of an ad or use some type of animation or some type of stock footage or something that you yourself have shot. When you are creating this type of video ad, make sure that you create a couple different ones and then split test them. Run them and then just see what are the results on both of them. Sometimes different audiences will just engage with a different type of ad and they won't engage with another ad that has the same content, frankly, but just has a different look and feel to it. So with paid advertising, you have to do a lot of testing. One mistake that people make is to create and spend a lot of time developing a good video to use for paid ads. And then they just run that one type and they wonder why it's not performing. So try out a couple, test them all against each other and then see which ones perform the best. Now, as I always say, if you are using video for your business, the point is not just to get eyeballs, in other words, visibility. The point is also to make those people interested enough that they actually stay there as your follower and as a member of your audience. You don't want people just getting into your tribe for the sake of one visibility video that you created and then falling off the map because they're not interested in any of your future content. So that's why you need a good mix of visibility and conversion style videos. Once you get the eyeballs of your audience member, that cold audience member who has never heard of your brand before, that's when it's your responsibility to put more different types of videos in front of them so that they feel like they are getting value from the time they are giving you, that they are learning more, that they feel interested and entertained and educated by the things that you are telling them. This can be done through a variety of different videos. So make sure that you come back next week where we are going to talk about conversion style videos, the type of videos that take your audience from being a warm lead who probably found you through your quick visibility video, who is now more primed and positioned to actually buy something from you. If you like this video, I hope that you will give it a like and share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because every single Tuesday, I bring you a new video teaching you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.